Hey everybody, welcome to AZ Framing and in this video I'm gonna show you how to frame Cricut. Um, so I am on top of the garage roof and as you see that's where we're gonna frame our Cricut. Again, Cricut saddle driver. And the purpose of this Cricut because if we leave the roof like that, all the water, rain water that will be running from this roof down there as well as from that roof over here uh, it's gonna eventually it's gonna stay in that spot and finally it will be inside of the house so we don't want that to happen so we need to create a slope so um, the rainwater can be moved away from this area and it, as you can see I snapped my line already for the first uh, long rafter and I'm gonna use a uh, 612 pitch for this roof and I'm gonna show you a little bit later when our first our rafter kind of pass the corner of the wall like a five or six inches okay so let's get a little bit closer okay, that's as you see I put a nail here that's where my cricket is gonna stop right here and so the way I know that I snap the line exactly what I need 612 pitch because from that wall from the plywood put the nail here I got nine feet exactly nine feet and we know for uh, with a 612 pitch for every foot horizontally we have six inches vertically so what I did I measured from here like a method from here if we do 9 times 6 54 that's where I have this mark so then from here from that nail I snap my line next thing what I did I take a four foot level I put it along with this corner with this mark so I make it level and I draw like a line over here now I'm gonna cut a piece of 2x6 that I'm gonna use as a nailer for our Cricut rafters uh, so first of all my speed square. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put it like that, and I put the put the mark. I'm gonna put the mark over here. It's called long eight. And then I'm gonna take a pencil and draw the line like that. Now, the next thing what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna cut it. Okay, we have uh, eight, uh, long eight on this side because uh, our garage is eight twelve feet. For that, I'm gonna set my saw at twenty seven degrees. And the reason we're setting twenty seven degrees is because it's the same as 6 12 pitch 6 here 27 right here and now what I'm gonna do we're gonna cut it a little bit like that so I'm gonna hold my 2 by 6 like that and we want to cut along this side of our 2 by 6 done we're gonna have something like that so we cut and nailed our 2 by 6 as you can see and this is the angle 27 degrees for our 612 Cricut and um, what I try to do I 
found the stud that I measured from this mark both directions 16 inches and also um, nailed our first uh, rafter as you can see so now I'm gonna cut the rest of the rafters and let me show you how I cut them uh, once I know the length from the long to the long since we know that one side we have 6 12 feet so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my speed square I'm gonna hold it like that so I have my pivot point right here then I move it so once I see that I have number six aligned with this side of my 2 by 4 I draw the line like that on the other side we're gonna do we're gonna put our speed square like that and we're gonna put the mark and get closer we're gonna put the mark right here it's called long six and then I'm gonna draw the line like that now this cut on this side we're gonna, we're gonna cut it like that and this one we're gonna set our saw at 33 degrees and the reason we want to set it because as you remember we have on our garage we have a 12 pitch which is equal 33 degrees so then i take my saw That's how my rafter looks like. They're gonna be all the same angles, all the same cuts, only the difference will be the length of the rafter. So here, snap the line from that point where my first one you see, I'm gonna hit this roof like that. And also, as you see, I nailed a couple rockers already. So, as you see, we have this side 612. This we have, uh, it's called long six. And here, that's why I have a bevel cut because on this roof I have 812 feet or 33 degrees. I have almost forgot to mention that my rafters are going to be spaced every 16 inches so i simply measure from the wall every 16 inches on top and the same on the bottom so as you see we'll be exactly in the middle here and now we're ready for the plywood measure and cut and nail plywood the same way like to do for the valley so I started with a triangle, as you can see, now we're gonna have like a, uh, like a square piece, the last piece is gonna be probably triangle as well, so just three pieces and that's it. Our cricket is ready, we're done, and thank you for watching.